Two titans clash beneath the waves. No, not Godzilla and Cthulhu, though that would be cool. We're talking submarines. Specifically, the UK's Vanguard class and India's Arahant class. These underwater behemoths represent the pinnacle of their respective nation's submarine technology. The Vanguard are named synonymous with power. It's the Royal Navy's nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, the ultimate guarantor of Britain's nuclear deterrent. Launched in the late 1980s, it's a seasoned veteran of the deep, silently patrolling the world's oceans. On the other side, we have the Arihant. This is India's first indigenously built nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. While newer to the scene, commissioned in 2016, the Arahant represents India's ambition to establish a credible nuclear triad. This showdown won't involve torpedoes and explosions, hopefully. We'll analyze their strengths and weaknesses, their roles in the global strategic landscape. Get ready to submerge into a world of stealth, power, and underwater intrigue. Size matters, especially when you're talking about submarines. The Vanguard is significantly larger than the Arihant, measuring 150 meters in length compared to the Arihant's 111 meters. Think of it as the difference between a school bus and a limousine. Both can get you where you need to go, but one offers more legroom. This size difference translates directly to displacement. The Vanguard displaces over 15,000 tons while the Arihant comes in at around 6,000 tons. Essentially, the Vanguard is a heavyweight boxer, while the Arihant is more of a welterweight. Both pack a punch, but the Vanguard has more raw mass. Both submarines are powered by pressurized water reactors. Nuclear propulsion gives them incredible range and endurance. They can stay submerged for months, only limited by the endurance of their crews. Think of it as having an unlimited fuel tank. No need to stop for gas when you're patrolling the vast expanse of the ocean. Now for the fun part, weapons. The Vanguard carries up to 16 Trident 2D-5 ballistic missiles. Each missile can carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles or MIRVs. It's like a shotgun blast of nuclear warheads. The Arahant carries up to 12 K-15 Sagarika ballistic missiles or 4 K-4 missiles, less firepower but still enough to make any adversary think twice. Both submarines are armed with torpedoes for self-defense. These torpedoes are like underwater heat-seeking missiles. They can target enemy submarines and surface ships. It's the underwater equivalent of having a concealed carry permit. You hope you never have to use it, but it's good to have it just in case. Submarines are all about stealth but they also need to see what's going on around them. Both the Vanguard and Arihant are equipped with sophisticated sonar suites. These sonar systems are the submarine's eyes and ears. They can detect other submarines, surface ships, and even underwater terrain. Imagine being blindfolded in a dark room but having the ability to sense everything around you. Stealth is the name of the game in submarine warfare. Both the Vanguard and Arihant are designed to be as quiet as possible. They utilize anechoic tiles to absorb sound waves. It's like wearing a stealth suit that makes you invisible to sonar. Imagine sneaking up on someone in a library without making a sound. That's the level of stealth we're talking about. The Vanguard has a crew of 135, including 15 officers. It's a small city beneath the waves. The Arihant has a smaller crew of around 80. Life on board a submarine is not for everyone. It's cramped, isolated, and requires a special breed of sailor. Imagine spending months underwater with over a hundred of your closest friends, with no sunlight and limited communication with the outside world. The Vanguard class has been in service for over three decades. They've patrolled the world's oceans, silently maintaining the UK's nuclear deterrent. Think of them as the silent guardians of the realm, always vigilant, always ready. The Arehant class is a relative newcomer, but it has already conducted successful deterrent patrols. It's a testament to India's growing naval capabilities. Both classes have experienced their share of incidents. The Vanguard was involved in a minor collision with a French submarine in 2009. It's like a fender bender, but with billions of dollars worth of military hardware. The Arihant reportedly suffered damage to its propulsion system in 2017, 
Accidents happen, even in the highly controlled world of submarine operations. The Vanguard and Arahant represent the cutting edge of submarine technology. They are both formidable underwater platforms, capable of projecting power and delivering devastating payloads. The Vanguard is larger and more heavily armed, while the Arahant is smaller and more agile. It's a classic clash of titans, size and power versus agility and innovation. Which submarine is superior? It's a complex question with no easy answer. It depends on the specific mission and operational environment. Think of it like comparing a sports car to a truck. Both have their strengths and weaknesses. Ultimately, the better submarine is the one that best meets the needs of its operator. But one thing is certain. Both the Vanguard and Arihant are testaments to human ingenuity and engineering prowess. They are symbols of national pride and strategic power. And in a world fraught with uncertainty, they serve as silent guardians, ensuring the delicate balance of global stability.